Four memory banks make up a UHF RFID chip. Let's get into them. There are four memory banks inside of a UHF RFID tag. The reserve bank, the EPC, the TID, and the user memory bank. Each bank has a specific function inside of the RFID tag and is only read when told to do so by the RFID reader. So let's start with the EPC bank because this is the most recognized and used memory banks when it comes to UHF RFID technology. The EPC, or also known as the Electronic Product Code, is a public memory bank that typically stores between 96 and 496 bits of memory. The EPC bank is also the first writable memory bank within the RFID tag. Next is the TID memory bank. The TID is a factory locked memory bank that includes the unique tag ID number of the RFID tag, which is essentially the license plate of each RFID tag. The user memory behaves exactly like that of the EPC bank in that it is a writable memory bank. The user memory is typically used when there isn't enough memory in the EPC bank alone. Some user memory banks can reach up to 8,000 bits of memory, and that usually depends on which chip is selected. Lastly, we have the reserved bank. Even though this bank is relatively small, it handles all the security passwords of the RFID tag. An access password can be written to the reserved bank, which will then password lock the EPC and the user memory banks. And finally, the kill password can also be written inside the reserve bank, which when set and activated will render the RFID tag useless. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Remember to drop some comments below and let me know what other RFID concepts you want made simple.